Is that a van? Wait, what was that? Yo, this is a vibe. It's a cow. Welcome back to another React. Today we're representing La Republica de Colombia with the, the fit today. Today I'm gonna rate my subscribers car edits that are on my Discord. Big clap to everybody because we've just reached 1,676 members. Let's hit 2K by the end of the year, maybe. I don't know, it's down to you. Are you gonna join? Thank you to everybody that submitted their videos for the reactions. Remember, nobody gets a five out of five. That's only left for people like me and him. So with that being said, Okay, okay, okay. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I got Vin Vinces. Vinces. Oh yes. The particles. Nice logo flip. Oh, ground effect. Let's go. That was sick. All right. So first of all, the flow of this video is really good. I really like it. I love how things are just go with the beat. This particle effect is so cool. Look at that. Wow. I think this is using CC Particle World on Adobe After Effects. And he just played around with the settings. But they look like fire embers. It really works with this fire edit. <laughs> <laughs> Camera movement is also great. Uh, you did a very good job at like bringing the camera in, rotating. The only thing is, again, with all of these edits, when the flow of one shot goes to one direction, the next shot should also follow that direction. Whereas here, he's going left to right and the next shot is right to left. And it's also a very similar shot in a similar angle. I'm not saying it's terrible, but I'm saying you could have used a better shot where you're also going left to right. If your next shot was, for example, this logo flip here, that's going left to right. So if you were to stitch that in there, Apart from that, the cinematography is great. The location that you're shooting in is awesome. If you want your car edits to look really cool, do what they're doing. They are finding a location that contrasts very well to the color of the car. This was really cool, where you have essentially like one of these like music channels. When I was younger, I used to listen to a lot of dubstep. And those channels were, were like that. <laughs> These are a bit extreme though, I can't lie. So if you want to see a tutorial on how to do this, let me know down below. My favorite effect though, was this one here, right at the end, because it's very symmetrical. You have things coming in, it just keeps you focused. And when something keeps you focused, you know, it's really good, especially in this age when everybody's got the attention span of Dory. I'm gonna give you 4.5 out of five fire particles. Mafa 420. Ooh, shook ones. Yes. Yo, I want to see more. Why did you stop? Oh, that's such a vibe. <laughs> okay, firstly, I think this is a video game, but whatever you did, like the camera movement is great. You're following the same principles, like you're following the same direction. It's going the same direction, left to right, left to right, left to right. It keeps it so satisfying. You're going from wide shots of the car to following the car drifting to some close up shots some medium shots and then some close-up shots. Cinematography wise, very good choice. Something that I see a lot in these car videos is people, they do wide angle, wide angle, wide angle, wide angle. It kind of gets boring after a while. Whereas with this, the next shot is always something different. And that is a great way to keep viewers engaged in your videos. Notice as well that he uses sound effects every time he does a speed ramp. The only thing that I think would have been awesome is if you added a sound effect of the car going rum, 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 rum. <laughs> Let's also talk about just slightly a little bit about the composition of the shots. You see here, the car is perfectly in the center. We have the skyscrapers in the background and in the foreground, we have the ground. And look at the next shot, similar situation. Our eyes stay in the center. And then when we get closer up to things, you know, they're still in the center and we still have that depth. I actually love this video. Mafa420, if you could have improved this video, I would have made it longer. This is a solid 4.7 out of five shipping containers. Velo N. Shameless plug alert. This is a shameless plug alert. If you're sick and tired of getting home after filming your cars and your speed ramps just look all wobbly, uh -huh. shaky, and you just want to do a one two combination to your computer, then you're going to want to sign up to my speed ramping masterclass, where I teach you from beginner to advanced how to get these really cool looking speed ramp effects, how to edit them into transitions, how to do this viral boomerang effect, as well as how to edit these robot looking moves. I take you real time how I do them, my thought process behind them, and I give you footage for you to practice with. Best of all, I teach you how to film 
for the speed ramps and I give you my personal shot list that I use when I go and film my videos. So if you want to skip hunting through YouTube videos, I want somebody to just take your hand and guide you with it, then let me be your guardian angel by clicking the first link in the description. And the first 10 people to use this flying code here get 25% off. Back to the show. Velo N. Toyota. Uh, ooh, yes. Oh man, why are these so short? I think some people think that if you make it short, you get more views. The algorithms care a lot about audience retention. Like sometimes if you're too short, they're gonna qualify it as like, okay, even if you got to the end and then scroll past, they don't boost it as much. So I would just say, keep them longer, man. This is obviously made in a game. I love this environment situation, palm trees. Uh, with the car in it and like the really glow like the glowing light i think is really cool okay there's not much i can say because it is just you know cuts with this kind of transition effect but it's just very like, kind of in your face like bang shake 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 i'm personally not the biggest fan of it but you know it's a it's somebody's taste and i love the number plate I can't give you much, much more of a rating because of that. I'm just going to give you three too fast number plates out of five. This is a trailer of the new movie of our car group. We are also curious about your comments. All right, cool. That's the good. Samurai molds himself after his katana sword. Always yes, sir. GTR and always decisive. But the sword. That's a really cool uh, parallax shot where I think they're pulling in and zooming out at the beginning looks small and then it's starting to get longer Ooh. Ooh. nice so this drone shot here is really cool I think they're shooting on a GoPro with the drone and there's just no motion blur because you had it probably on auto settings. If you look at the floor, it's just like every time I pause, it's just frozen. So it would have been really nice if you added some motion blur, which would have just given you that feeling of movement, of speed. Oh, that was sick. It was synchronized to the song. It probably did it in post, but that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it there because it's three minutes. This is really high produced, high budget. It looks awesome. I get the color grade is like very cinematic, but it just kind of looks a bit dull. Like the greens are very muted. Like it's not really giving me that kind of excitement, punchy colors look. I don't know how you guys filmed that stuff. I don't know if it was you or whoever edited it. So because of big team collaboration, I'm just gonna give you guys a solid 3.9 lanes out of five is that a van hey guys can't rely on the lines and overall share my vehicle since it's a van but it was cool to shoot and edit through oh. <laughs> yo this is a vibe <laughs> that was crazy your use of effects is really on time with the beat I've never seen this kind of combination where things are popping out of your screen as well as the saber outline and then having like the color change with this matte overlay that you're using. And the transition was epic. Look at this. Boom. And also check out the sound effect. That was so satisfying. All of these shots, you're kind of just standing and filming. It'd be nice if you got down, looked up at the van to make it look a bit more beefy, a bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, boy. You made a van look really cool. And for that, you get 3.7 Pojo Lions out of five. All right, let's do two more. At Kemi Sees, how do you rate it? Video is not mine, edited is mine. Okay, let's, I'm judging your edits. Like most of our rappers are signed to the streets. Only dealers we took was a plea. Mumble your money, Molly P, shout out my label. Nice, nice. Oh. Okay. Nice. I think your editing to the beat is good. The only thing that lets you down is some of your effects. This effect here, I think you only masked out the car and then did the stacking. You didn't actually rotoscope it. You can see that the camera kind of moves and then it, you have to realign it to the car. And it just kind of looks a little bit out of place. It doesn't look very realistic. This one here, this kind of random black square, Someone even commented, bro, the mask was visible. It would be cool if you maybe, rather than, than showing this, the outline and then the car going in, you get rid of this section here. And on top of this car shot, you add just the red Porsche sliding on top.
And that's called a car slam. And I teach that on my mask and rotoscoping course and I see a lot of people do it. This effect is cool though. I really like it. Well timed as well to the song. And because this video has some room for improvement, I'm just gonna give you 2.7 out of five McLaren 720Ss. This one says little bit out there. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that wasn't just out there, man. That was space bound. You're clearly a good editor. You're just having fun. And this, these effects are really funny. It's like you're tripping on something. I love it. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> it's a cow. Oh, that's jokes, man. And that effect, that transition, the stars, that's very America. Oh. Blake, I'm gonna give you 3.5 out of five space cows because you made me laugh. <laughs> you know, thank you for joining us as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you wanna submit your video, you know where to go down in the Discord below. Don't forget to check out my speed wrapping course if you're interested. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.